All right, one of the hottest bands in the area now, especially back in my home state of Michigan, is Pop Evil. We've got Lee Kakati, front man from the band, on the line. Lee, are you holed up in Michigan right now? We are, man. It's it's good to get some off time back at home, but the snow, um, you never get used to that, but I guess I should be all the years I've lived in Michigan, so uh, it's, good to be, uh, it's good to be home, though, with the fam and the friends. Yeah, it's cool. Like I said, I, I, I told you uh, off the air a second ago, just got a little promotion here at the station. The first thing I wanted to do was get Pop Evil on the air because in Michigan, you guys are as a staple in radio as, say, Ted Nugent, Bob Seger, or Kid Rock. People love themselves some Pop Evil in Michigan. Yeah, it's just overwhelming, the support. And I mean, that's kind of how we kind of came on the scene was, um, you know, our local radio station started spinning the record and it just kind of grew from there, you know, I mean, playing out every weekend for years kind of paid off, you know, so it's, um, it's good to be on the national scene though. And it's always good to be back for the holidays as well. And here we are, here we are. And uh, let's be honest, you're not just calling to say hi. You guys have a new album hitting us in the beginning of February. War of Angels is going to be uh, your second major release. And from what I've heard, a lot of bands get softer as they go on in their career. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, like Stained, uh, Metallica kind of got softer. They focus on maybe writing songs for the radio. It kind of takes away from the authenticity of the music. From what I've heard, War of Angels is a lot heavier than Lipstick on the Mirror. Is that true? Oh, yeah, it's a lot heavier. I mean, with Lipstick on the Mirror, our first record, um, you know, we kind of did, saving up all our money on the weekends, we kind of, you know, did what we could to raise the money to pay for that record. And, you know, now this time we haven't, we had the opportunity to work with Johnny K, who did Disturb, Three Doors Down, to work with that A-list producer and really take it to the next level and finally spend the time that we've always wanted to on the music. You know, in previous, we were working day jobs, so... You know, we didn't have time to really focus. You know, it was kind of the band kept getting bigger and bigger and it kind of snowballed into, um, you know, what it ended up being. But now, you know, having the opportunity to work, you know, 24-7 on this record, you know, War of Angels finally is that piece of work that, you know, we're extremely proud of. And we just can't wait for it to, um, to, to debut here in the next couple months. Now, you guys, I believe, are in the best stage of any band development because uh, you've kind of had a taste of the big time. I mean, you're not quite like the biggest band around, but you guys still, you, you guys work harder than anybody. You're out at the merch tables meeting people. You put everything out on stage. Uh, you guys just seem like you're having fun. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a different era, you know, obviously with the... um with the great things of the internet, you know, with the benefits has come with some of the downfalls and it's just, it's just more competitive. So in order to stay ahead of the game, we feel like, you know, we really got to take a, take a page out of the country, uh, out of the country's book and, and, you know, kind of make it about the fans. You know, it's the one thing that our fans say that they love about us and, you know, they'd like to see more in, in the rock arena in general, you know, they want to see people more hands on and, you know, now an opportunity where you can go watch us, you know, fall down the stairs or, 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 or crowd surf, you know, you can uh, see that on our YouTube pages. You can see fans and you can see your favorite band members being more real and, and um, you know, living, doing everyday things, you know, just like, just like people do themselves and really know that we are just like everyone else. We are fans first in music and, and um, we are out here making this journey that um, is rock and roll and, and out there every day struggling to, to just make ends meet and just to be out there to give them the latest music and to put on those shows and the struggle that that does, we can showcase now on online. And I think fans, you know, it, it's a great time to be to be a music fan. You can just be more involved with your favorite bands more than you ever could just 10 years ago. Yeah, people crave that real person feel. Right. That's why TMZ Absolutely. is so big, you know, because Absolutely. they want to see why the celebrities are doing this, what they're actually like, and uh, it's definitely good for your fan base. Now, I mentioned back there that you guys aren't quite the biggest thing around, but you are definitely on that track. You've done some stuff with a couple sport outlets, UFC 119. You teamed up with Frank Mir. Yeah, we did We did some stuff with Frank. It was just an incredible, great timing issue. Last Man Standing was just coming out on the scene, and Frank was getting ready for his uh, fight with Crow Cop and, um, you know, really dug the song and wanted to use it um, as motivation for his, uh, you know, has, for his next fight. And he ended up winning that fight, so that was a good thing. He definitely was the last <laughs> man standing, so that was good. <laughs> so maybe he'll give you a call back sometime, right? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we love Frank. You know, we, we, we love the UFC and we just love sports in general, you know. And then we had the uh, success with our last man standing with NASCAR as well, um, with obviously the uh, the crazy chase with um, with Denny Hamlin and, and, um, and Jimmy Johnson. You know, it was great to kind of have the song kind of represent, you know, another crazy uh, competitive streak with, with NASCAR. We're just all about competition. We want to be the last man standing, the last man standing. And we realize we're new and, and 
you know, you got to start somewhere, but we just want to write the music that connects and, and hopefully people can relate to it. At the end of the day, we're just trying to do our part to, you know, to spread a positive message. How much would one have to pay Lee Kakati to get in the octagon with Frank Mir? Oh, man, it wouldn't be. I mean, you have to pay me a lot. You know? It wouldn't be much of a fight, man. I'd probably just get hit once and just be like, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> right on. I, would, I wouldn't have much in a fight these days being so exhausted, putting all my time into this band. is just kind of, it sucks the life out of you. I mean, I swear on the off days, our friends are, let's go snow, let's go sled, let's go see him, let's go snowboarding this time of year. We just want to sit on the couch, you know, just kind of relax. I mean, we did over 250 shows and from 2008 to 2009 alone. So it's it's been it's uh no actually we did over 250 in 2009 alone it was another 200 wow. in 2008 so it's been um it's been just an overwhelming journey but you know you, you need to do that these days you need to stay on the road and with the spread of lipstick on with war of angels coming out uh, this year you know it's going to be another two or three year haul and um but we're excited you know you get to meet and hang out with new people every day and, and it's a chance to really um to do what you love you know with rock and roll and just listen to music and 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 play music for the people that love to listen and support. It's, it's, it's an awesome profession. And all those shows, I've seen you guys a couple of times at my favorite place on earth to see a concert, Planet Rock in Battle Creek, Michigan, baby, Serial yeah, City. Yeah, man. I mean, Planet Rock is, is uh, kind of cool. I mean, I remember when we couldn't get like 20 people in there. And I yeah. was crazy with that, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's what it's about, though. It's about like a history, you know, having being from Michigan, you know, kind of being privileged to kind of grow up in the scene and kind of know, watch Kid Rock's success and watch Eminem's success. It's kind of um, to see how they've done it in the course of year after year after year, just kind of staying on the scene and getting bigger and bigger, just getting bigger and bigger. You know, that's kind of what we've kind of emulated and trying to take that, that those lessons and those life lessons and trying to make them our own has kind of been the pop evil story. Now, have you seen the reception you've gotten in the mitten spread nationwide? Yeah, I mean, you know, like you said, you know, we're still getting bigger and bigger. You know, it's 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 a different it's a different lifestyle with the fact that you you could be big three days out of the week and then you play a, a, another four cities and you're not as big or sometimes you're you're not known at all and then you come to some cities and they know who we are. It's it's uh there's, there's no real cliff notes for it. You know, you just kind of deal with the emotions that come with, I guess, uh, the fame that comes with it. I mean, I I think that that's one thing that you know when you're when you're a musician, you always love or you see it in the background but when it actually starts happening you're never really prepared for that you know and then just you're just so focused on getting the music heard and, and trying to get to the next show and making sure you're on time and the responsibilities that come with with radio and come with the, the print and the, the newspapers and the magazines it's uh it's overwhelming at times so just trying to stay afloat and find some time to yourself is uh becomes a little bit of a chore now when you guys started pop people in the late nineties, were you aware of how much work it would be to get to the point you're at now and how much no, work it is going to be to get to where you guys are finished? Not. You no. know, it's, it's, we, we, we talked about it actually this new year's cause we played on new year's down in, in Louisville, Kentucky. And, you know, it marked, um, this November will be, will be our 10 year anniversary. I mean, we've been playing together since we were in our teens, you know, and, and, um, you know, it just, it just was kind of cool to see the stages and just how far we've come. And, and so, like you said, we're not even huge yet by no means, you know, and it's, it's still a long journey ahead to get to where we want to be. But, you know, um, it's, it's about appreciating the journey that, that's gotten me to this point right now. And, you know, it's been um, a lot of amazing people along the way and, and a lot of, a lot of miles, a lot of crazy drunken moments as well in between. And it's just, uh, it's cool. It, it's, it's cool. We're excited for this next chapter for the band. Right on. And you mentioned the NASCAR thing. Uh, you, have you been to a couple NASCAR races? Uh, we we haven't lately. I know we've been before, but we haven't lately just because the tour schedule has been so yeah. demanding. So we have to catch everything, including the, the football. And obviously we're, we're diehard. I'm a diehard Detroit Lions fan. You so guys just beat my games. Dolphins, man. Yeah, I'm a Dolphins fan too, actually. Really? So I know. I was, I was actually... You got that team you like from your hometown, and then you got that one team you just randomly like. You don't know why you like it. The Dolphins yeah. was always that team for me. So, uh, well, you're better off well, uh, rooting for the Lions because I, you know, it's we... rare to hear that. It's rare to hear that. Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think that. that's the first time I've ever said that in my life. <laughs> ever. Uh, uh, that's true. That's true. That's all right, Lee. That, but, um, well, thanks for the well, time, so man. Much. We appreciate it. We'll let you go. You're busy, man. We'll let you rest. Sounds good, man. Thanks so much for having it. Can't wait to get you away. Right on, dude.